principal is uh, Stephen Soy. Now, so what happened in Rio at the 2016 Olympics? This was no doubt a bungled mission with most things going wrong, save for the performance of the players, which still stands as one of the best in recent history. From expensive flight tickets to poor standards of accommodation, unjustifiable allowances to unnecessary staff and delegation, KTN's sports Reporter Moses Wahisi takes us back five years and explains why the court findings were inevitable. In 2016, Kenya sent its largest ever delegation to the Olympic Games with 89 athletes, 47 men and 42 women competing across seven different sports. Together with a number of officials and others who have been referred to as joy riders, it was a traveling party of around 200 individuals. After the conclusion of the 2016 Rio Olympic Games, Kenya had bagged a total of 13 medals, the biggest haul by an African country in the said Olympic Games. But their arrival was marred with a lot of disillusionment. It began with whistle blowing from an athlete and then a member of parliament. The 2016 Rio scandal gathered momentum after Wesley Correll, then a member of parliament and the team captain, with his series of tweets, claimed that the team Kenya officials delayed their returning home flight as they searched for what he termed as cheap flights. This is where the Kenyan team. With photos and videos, Kuril later described the low living conditions of Team Kenya in Brazil, depicting a picture of a team in distress in a foreign land after the Olympic village was officially closed. Uh, definitely as the Kenyans were competing to win medals, our officials were competing to be the worst organized organization in the world. And I think we won more gold and they won the, uh, uh, they won being the worst organized officials in the world. Kenya's medal howl was then overshadowed by multiple scandals and what followed was a probe into Team Kenya's participation in the 2016 Rio Olympics. I feel at this point, I feel there are some people who are considered much more important than others because if myself I could not access the village, I don't know who else could access the village. And let me tell you, members, that most of the learners, if they could open up their hearts, they really got psychological disturbance. In an effort to cool down the flares, the then sports minister Hassan Wario responded by disbanding the National Olympics Committee and ordering an investigation into the problems that the team faced while in Rio. Disband the National Organizing Committee of Kenya, National Organizing Committee of Kenya, NOC, Olympic Organizing Committee of Kenya, sorry, NOC, with immediate effect and transfer the responsibilities to Sports Kenya. But others held the opinion that the Sports Cabinet Secretary was part of the said mess. My officials, because I have fought them to do as a recall of Jubilee, when I was here. See that Ali Wario must resign as Cabinet Secretary for Sports. And if he does not resign, his Excellency the President must relieve him of his duties as Cabinet Secretary for Sports. After five years of court battles, Stephen Soy, who headed the Kenyan team to the Olympics at the time, has been sentenced to 10-year jail term or a fine of 103 million Kenyan shillings over the misuse of public funds. His co-accused, former Sports Cabinet Secretary Hassan Wario, has been sentenced to a six-year jail term or pay a fine of 3.6 million Kenyan shillings over his involvement in the 2016 Rio Olympics scandal. Then the question begs, has justice been served? <laughs> Moses Wahisi, KTN News. Right, and it's a conversation